Hi, welcome to week one of Fantastic Fridays. I'm Miss Brandy and I'm going to do some really awesome art projects with you. Okay, you're gonna have one this week, one next week, and then one after that. You'll get a cool little box like this each time and it's gonna have everything you need to make these art projects with me, okay? This week, we are going to be doing a painting using our fingers inspired by the very famous artist Claude Monet. Claude Monet um, was known for doing really wonderful, beautiful paintings using a lot of color and painting things like nature. So flowers, water, trees, beautiful stuff. Here are some examples of his work. And so I think that his stuff is absolutely wonderful. And I think that you could do a really good job recreating some of his work. Yep, using only just your little fingertips, okay? All right, so are you ready to see what's in your box if you haven't peeked already? Okay, it's okay if you have. All right, so in your box, you're gonna have some paint. There's lots of colors in here. You will have some paper towels. This is gonna be for wiping your fingers, okay? And then you will have a canvas with some tape on it. I've already put it on there for you and I don't want you to take it off until I tell you to, okay? Because we want this in place. Because when we put paint all over this canvas, we're gonna take the paint, I mean the tape off and then there won't be paint where the tape was and that's gonna give us the effect that we want, okay? So don't take the tape off just yet, all right? And if some is sticking up, just kind of mash it down and get it all stuck down for me, okay? All righty, are you ready to get started on our Claude Monet painting? All right, great. Alrighty, so I've got all of my stuff out and I went ahead and put some paper towels underneath my canvas just so I don't get paint on my tablecloth here. Um, so you be sure to put down something uh, that will make sure that you don't make a big mess, okay? This is washable, um, but still, you know, we wanna be neat as we can. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my paint. We've got lots of colors and we don't even need to worry about the brush because we're going to be using our fingers. All right. And I'm going to scoot this over, set this down right here. Now I have my tape, my canvas in front of me to where the tape is going like this. All right. <clears throat> and what this is actually going to be is a bridge. Okay. Cause it's going to look a lot like this painting. Okay, and this painting is called Bridge Over a Pond of Water Lilies. So you can see there's a bridge, there's some water, and the pretty water lilies sitting on top of the water, okay? So you can see that we're gonna use a lot of blues and greens, pinks and some whites, and even a little bit of brown and yellow, okay? But it doesn't have to look exactly like that painting, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my paintings that I want. I'm gonna do some pink. Goodness, if you need help doing that, that's fine. I'm gonna open up a darker blue and my darker green and my brown and my white. All right. And then over here, I'm gonna open up my lighter blue, my lighter green, my yellow, and maybe my orange. Okay. All right, so we're just gonna use our fingers. And I think I will start off with some green. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a couple of my fingers here and I'm gonna dip just a little bit, just the tips of my fingers 
just like that. Maybe even my pinky too, pinky finger. So I have my pinky and my ring finger and my middle finger right there. Now, where is the green in the picture? It's kind of on this line right here where there's some grass. So I'm just gonna start tap, 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 tap. And I'm gonna move along and I'm gonna tap my canvas just like this. And see, you don't have to worry about going over the paint because we're gonna take that paint up and there won't be paint there anymore. Okay. All right, that's a start. I'm gonna dip one more time and I'm gonna do the other side kind of the same, okay? All right, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go tap, 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 tap. So you don't necessarily wanna go smearing your hand across it. We really just wanna tap it, okay? Tap, 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 And you don't have to cover everything. You can leave some white in there. You see how there's white in between my green? That's totally fine. All right, let me look at my picture here and make sure we're staying on target. Now I'm gonna take some of this kind of bluish green over here by my dark blue. And then I'm gonna also dip my finger in the light green. So I have one finger in the darker green and one in the lighter green. And I'm going to kind of come in here and do this, but then put that on top of it. So I'm getting a blend of the darker green and the lighter green. And I'm just gonna swoop it down like this. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna dip it in one finger in the darker green and one in the lighter green. And then I think over here, I'll kind of come even across the bridge a little bit. And it's okay, it's okay if some of it is darker, there's more paint and then it kind of fades out right there. That's perfect. That's exactly kind of what we want it to do, okay? And I think I'll use a little bit more of this darker green by itself. And kind of come up here and just do a dot, dot, dot. Just once every now and then. Dot, 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 dot. All right. Okay, let's see where else we can put some of this. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna to move to a different color. So I'm gonna wipe off my fingers. You're still gonna have the color on your fingertips, but you shouldn't have any wet paint on there, okay? And I think next I'm going to dip my finger in the light blue. So the very bright blue, it should be next to the light green. Dip two fingers in. And so, what this method of painting is called is impressionism. Impressionism means that you're not exactly painting a tree, the grass. You're using spots of color to give the idea of trees and grass. It's the impression of trees and grass, okay? So that's why this is called impressionism. So this is gonna be our water. bring it all the way up to the edge of that tape. So we want this whole canvas covered, okay? And then I think I'll dip it in the darker blue. And kind of come down here on the bottom and do my darker color blue. Just bring it right up to the edge of that grass. One more dip in the darker blue. Dip, 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 dip. Isn't this fun? The paint's all wet. Feels cool, huh? Maybe a little bit of the brighter blue. And again, you don't have to cover all of it. You can see some white in there. That's perfect. All right, I'm gonna wipe my finger one more time. And, uh oh, I forgot to open up my purple and I think that I wanna use it, so I'm gonna open up my purple. 
and dip my finger down in there. Just one finger, I think. I think that's pretty good. And I'm just gonna come in here and put a spot every now and then and maybe wipe up a little bit, maybe sideways. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna just wipe it sideways a little bit. So wipe going this way, not this way. All right, I'm gonna dab and swipe, dab and swipe, dab and swipe. You see how that's doing that? Dab and swipe. Dab and swipe. I'm gonna do it down here too. Dab and swipe. Okay. Now, I think I'm gonna take my very little finger, my pinky, and dip a little bit in my brown. Not very much. I'm talking about just the tiniest bit. Okay, can you see that? Tiniest bit. And I'm gonna come over here on the edge of the grass and the water, and I'm gonna dab and swipe. Swipe, 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 swipe. Swipe going up this time. Okay, one more little bit over here on the other side. Just a little bitty dab, little bitty dab, nothing much at all. I'm just gonna swipe, 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 swipe. Because so we know that when we go out by a river or out in nature, there's more colors than just green, right? There's some browns, there's some yellows. All right, speaking of yellows, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow to my pinky now. Just a little bit, and I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna do the tiniest little dots. Right at the top of the brown. Can you see that? Let me move my hand out of the way for a second. I don't know if you can. Can you see how I'm adding just a tiny bit of yellow dots? I'm not really pressing the paint down. I'm just letting the very tip of the paint droplet touch the canvas. Okay, just pat, pat, pat. All right, and get a little bit more yellow. Okay, I'm gonna come over here and do it a little bit more, a few more times. And if you do squish the dot, that's okay too. It's all right. We're not doing anything formal or fancy here, okay? I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. A little bit more yellow. And then I think I'll do some orange in the same way. On each side, right around this grass line, just some orange. Imagine that these are some pretty orange flowers just dotted in the grass. All right, and to the other side too. Now you can imagine that this looks any way that you like. If you're doing something totally different from me, that's okay. In the end, it should still look like a really pretty bridge over water, okay? Your, your river may look a little bit different from mine. And that's all right. All right, so I'm gonna start filling in this area up here more. So I'm gonna do some brown. Just, just one finger of brown. And I'm gonna start at the corner and I'm gonna start dabbing. And I'm gonna keep it kind of light because I'm gonna end up putting some other colors on top of it. So I don't want it to be too dark. And if you get too much paint in one spot and you're just not liking it, use a clean finger to kind of pick up some of that paint and move it somewhere else. Remember, I'm gonna come even down over the tape 
too, okay? I'm not just gonna leave it around the tape, I'm gonna come across the tape. All right, and now the other side, other corner, just pat, 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 pat. And I'm even gonna mix my green and brown a little bit. How about that? That's what's so fun about this type of painting with your fingers is you can just do all kinds of things, blend your colors, have fun with it, okay? All right, so let's see. Let me look at my picture here. I think that I will add some of my flower and water uh, lilies down here, okay? So I'm gonna dip it in my white first. Dip it in white. And then I'm gonna start kind of spreading it around. And I'm really working it in there. Into this back and forth motion, all right? And you don't have to do the whole thing, just do parts of it here all right and then the little water lilies have a bit of pink in them so they're very tiny so again I'm going to use my pinky finger for this and dip just the tiniest little drop, okay? Not my whole pinky, just a tiny bit. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna add little dots all over the place. I hope you're keeping up with me. I hope I'm not moving too fast. Now that I have some pink dots all over my blue water, I'm gonna take my pinky and I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did with the other colors. I'm just gonna press down and swipe. Press down and swipe. Okay. So you see we have these pink um, kind of lines going across it. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add more white, all right? And I'm going to go on the top of the pink, not all the way, just part, some of it, just to cover some of it. I'm gonna wipe my finger off because that I don't wanna get other colors in my white paint when I dip my finger back in it. You don't want to mix your colors up too much in your paint pots, okay? All right. Now water lilies are plants and they do have some green on them, so I'm going to add some of the darker green. Just a tiny bit on my fingertip and I'm just going to come off to the side over here of some of the white. And I'm just going to gently put some green on there. Just kind of move it around. Can you see what I'm doing there? So you see I've added a little bit of blue. It's not a whole lot, just a little bit. The greenish blue, I mean, not blue, green blue. Okay. Come up 
here, do the same thing, just a little bit, not too much. And I'm just, just like the pink and the white, I'm just kind of going across the canvas and lifting up my finger. Just brushing it on there with my finger. Brush, brush, brush. Wet my finger off, dip it again. Down here. Brush, brush, brush. All right, so does yours look a little bit like that? A little bit? Okay, so you see what happens when you start to put a whole lot of colors on top of one another and really what's called building it up and layering these colors. All right, you start to get this whole effect. Okay, so now I think I will move on to my grass over here. Now, one thing in the painting is it's not just green. We've got some more yellow. I know we already put yellow over here, but there's some yellow in the grassy area as well. So I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow and I'm going to go up, up, up. I'm gonna do, like I've been going sideways over here, but I'm gonna go up over here in the grass, okay? And just kind of, Fill it in with my fingers. Remember you can go over the tape. You've done your job correctly. If, uh, and actually, you know what, while this orange is still dry, I like what just happened there. I accidentally drug my finger across the dots of orange that I put and drug it up and I really like the way that looks. So I'm going to keep doing that all the way across. Yes, I like that a lot. Can you see that? So that looks like some tall grass by the water, right? All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. Wipe my finger off, dip it in the yellow, just like that, and start going up. And once I've got the yellow going across, then I'm going to take my finger and stick it in that orange paint that's right there and drag it up. Cool. All right. So now we've got some grassy riverbanks. Very cool. So I'm gonna work on this water right here a little bit. So earlier we had added some white streaks across. And then some purple. I'm not gonna do a whole lot. Just a little bit. I'm just dragging it across. Okay. And then some tiny little pink dots. Boop, boop, boop. I remember with the pink dots, I went back and I put my pinky back down on it and I swiped across. Swipe across. Swipe across. And then I put more white, right? Just to the side of it, swipe, swipe, swipe. <clears throat> and then I took the darker green and put that over it as well. really come up against that tape because when we pull it up I want it to be a clean line so I really want to go over that that tape 
All right. Looking a little bit like Claude Monet. I'm gonna put a little bit more white over here on this bank where I didn't really do much work a second ago. Now, while this paint is a little bit still wet, I want you to take where that blue and green meet and drag down. Drag that green and brown and orange and yellow paint into the blue, okay? Just like that. And what that is going to give us the effect of is the grass reflecting in the water. You know how when you stand up against some water, you can see yourself in it? That is called the reflection. And so that would be the same way in this painting, the grass is reflecting in the water. Okay, very cool. All right, so now I have all this space between the slats of the bridge and up here. So I'm just gonna keep adding more color and using my fingers in different ways to fill that in. And I want you to do the same, okay? All right, so I think that I'll add some yellow over here on top of this brown in a streaky fashion, using my pinky. Do the same thing to this side. I'm just kind of dragging this yellow across everything on the top of it. I'll even come off to the side a little bit. Just drag it across, have fun with it. Down here, bring it on down. Very good. Like I said, isn't it cool how you're not really painting grass and trees, but in the end, it'll look like it. I think that's just too cool. All right, it's got a little bit more color there. I'm gonna go back and add some more green, the bright green, just little streaks of it over here. Swipe it, swipe it, swipe it. Same thing over here. All right. And then I think I'll take that darker green, uh, greenish blue. I'll add some of it over here. top of this yellow that I laid down. All right, so you see we've got all these colors over here, but remember each time I put my finger in a new color, I'm wiping it off. So that way all of these colors over here don't mix too much, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Swipe down. I think I'll fill in that white spot up here with what's left over on my finger. 
and maybe even down here in the bridge too. This is so much fun. Now, I think I will add some white to um, this area right here. Over here. And up here as well. All right, sorry about that. My camera stopped recording for a second. So what I've been doing is going in with my white paint and up here in my trees, I've been dabbing my finger all along, as you can see, instead of wiping, I'm just dabbing, dab, 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 to create the look of some white flowers in the trees, okay? So I've done a good bit of it already, but I'll show you how I did it over here, okay? So I'm just barely touching the canvas with my finger and just dabbing it along. All right, come up here, dab it some more. And you're gonna cover this whole area with white dots, but you'll still see all the colors behind it. See how that looks. Okay. Do a little bit more over here. Make sure to come down in your bridge area and do the same thing. And when I've gotten all of it covered and very faint white like that, I'm gonna wipe my finger off and one more time dip it in the white, just a very little bit. And this time I'm not gonna be smushing around. I'm gonna put very concentrated white spots every so often on here, okay? So I'm just gonna come right over here and I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, a little bit more paint. And come over here and do a couple more. Okay, and then I'm gonna do it to the other side. So you could see that while I've just got the very small white dots on there, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing on this other side. Just gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, another dip. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. I like that a lot. Right. So is yours looking a little bit something like that? If not, that's okay. The main thing is to just have fun, okay? All right, so next, I think that I'm gonna add a little bit more orange up here in these treetops, okay? You don't have to do orange, you can do yellow, you can do pink, you can do purple, you can do blue, you can do whatever you wanna do. But I'm just gonna add a little bit of orange. I'm gonna put a dot, a couple of dots, just like that. And then I'm going to swipe down. Just 
kind of like how we did in the grass. And I might take that and carry it over here. All right, I like that. And this just gives the look of other types of plants being entangled in the trees. All right, I'm going to do my white again and kind of go over some of those spots because I want more of that dabbed look again. Okay. So now I think that I am pretty happy with the way that that looks for now, okay? Now I still haven't taken the tape off. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my sides and I'm gonna paint those too, okay? You don't have to, but I'm gonna. So I'm gonna take my darker blue because that's kind of what's up against this edge right here is my darker blue. And I'm just gonna rub it on there just like that. Really cover the edge of my canvas. This just helps your painting to look finished and like the whole thing is coming around the page okay and I'll take a little bit right here and a little bit over here all right and then what's next over here the green and yellow so that's what I'm going to put beside it on that side of the canvas first I'm going to wipe my finger look at this beautiful towel that almost looks like a painting itself, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to start with the, I think I'll do the darker green. I'm going to turn it and I'm going to put it right here. I'm just going to blend it right into that dark blue at the bottom. And then I'll dip it in some of the lighter green, and kind of go over it. wipe my finger because next I want to do the yellow right on top of that. This is called finishing out your canvas. It makes it look like a finished piece. You don't have to do this, but a lot of people like to do it and I like to do it. So I'm going to do it. All right, pick it up, do the same thing to this side. Okay. We did the brighter green. Really mix those color in there. You get a whole new color when you do that. Wipe my finger again, and then some yellow on top of that. All right. And then up here, I started off with brown. So I'm going to do some brown. Come down to meet with my green. Just like that. I think I'll turn it over and do that all across the top too. A little bit more. All right, and then we layered some green on top of that. So I'm just gonna rub some green on top of the brown. Turn it over and do the same thing. So you get this kind of, you get some greener spots and some browner spots. It looks pretty cool. And then the same thing on this side, I'll put some brown down. And 
And I've already got some green on my finger, but I get a little bit more. Okay. So I'm just going to set that down. All righty. So let me look at my picture real quick. Yep. I think we're all right. We've got our grass. We've got our trees. We've got our water with our water lilies. And now it's time to reveal our bridge. Okay. So I want you to pick it up and turn it over and you'll see that you can grab the tape right there. Carefully peel it up. It's okay to get a grown up's help with this because you may want to wait for it to dry, but really it's best to take the paint off. I mean the tape off while it's still wet. Okay. So just try to keep it held up or ask a grown up for some help. All right, now that I've got it taken off the edges, I can lay it down and then carefully pull it up. I might need to pull. Ta-da! A bridge over a river bridge over a pond of water lilies. Isn't that pretty? All right, so I've got some paint in where my white is, but that's okay. I'm not worried about it. I really like this. I think it looks a lot like a Claude Monet painting, doesn't it? All righty. Well, that was really fun. And if you're not done yet, that's okay. You just take your time and work on it as long as you need to, okay? I'm going to move along to our next project for the first and second graders. Alrighty, bye-bye.